Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, I've been working all night. It's about about ten past one in the morning, Sunday morning, and uh, I've built myself a transformer out of using other parts like a transformer, a metal case box, uh, some federals, you know, usual things, mineral oil, and uh, this particular transfor transformer doesn't have an iron core, it has a ferrite core. Now, normally um, these particular X-ray transformers that I normally deal with have iron cores on them and uh, some of them when they come out of uh, the small, because the one that I've got in here is a 75 kV one and uh, what I've done is remove the iron core and uh, replaced it with a ferrite core. Something very similar to them over there if you can see, see if I can zoom in, I've got my phone on charge so I can't unplug it otherwise it'll die see if it'll focus in I think that's the best it's going to zoom in at, uh, focus in at because I've uh, zoomed right in but yeah you can see those there very very similar to those just a little, tiny little bit bigger <laughs> me dogs follow me bloody everywhere <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> there she is. You remember this was uh, some sort of uh, multiplier? Well, it wasn't very happy that multiplier wasn't. It didn't work very well, so I got sick and tired of it and ripped it out. And uh, what I did then is uh, emptied the oil out of it, down to about here, so I could basically work inside of there. And uh, the lid, took it off, of course, took the Federals out drilled in those connectors there to actually power the thing up do you remember the board had yeah, it had a circuit board here didn't it and uh, I took that out cut um, a nice piece of perspex, 10mm thick oh yeah and it goes to about, it's about that length and comes out to about here because on the other side of here there's some rubber seat, uh, gaskets, some rubber gaskets. There's actually two of them, one of them, there's a smaller one in the middle and then a bigger one on the, on the outside of it. So yeah, so that's basically bolted to the side of there. And uh, the transformer that is in it is, what, 24% uh, battery. I might be able to just quickly unplug it very quickly. I just hope the battery doesn't die. That's the transformer that's in it, the sort of one that's in it, as you can see, and the ferrites, can you see the ferrites? Basically that's how it looks, but it's the 75 kV, not the 49 kV, 50 kV for argument's sake. Let's plug her back in before she dies. There we go. So yeah, focus. See if you can see inside of there. Not very well. <laughs> That's actually the wire coming from the primary input, that is. And what I did then is the lid upside down, put two steel bars up, well, steel thin pieces of um, steel bar, um, about, about 26 mil wide and about 2 mil thick up and then it was bent around the ferrites to hold the the the, uh, the transformer in the middle and uh, that's how she's been uh, bolted in so basically if you pull the the top out transformer comes out with it it's pretty good actually it all fits perfect and uh, filled it with oil and I'm just gonna give her a quick test before I vacuum it so here we go 20 volts <clears throat> Sorry about the bit of a wiggling round there with the um, camera guys. Just going to try and not make sure that that uh, the wire doesn't get trapped under my leg. Twenty, it's about twenty-four volts. Just to show you. 
probably more than 20, probably around about 26, actually 24 because of the, once it goes for the rectifier you do lose a little bit of voltage. And it's actually quite quiet. You can hear it pulling some current on the variant when I pull the arc out. So as you know it does run on ZVS. But isn't that so cool? So I've got the 75 kV one now, 150 kV, the other one that I've built myself um, from other bits and bobs, 150 kV, 150 kV, uh, is that 75 kV that one? I'm just trying to read on the top, I'm just reading on the top, sorry. I think it's 75 that one. Where are you, you bagger? Oh yeah, anyway, oh yeah. Yeah, 75 kV that one. <clears throat> so now I've got a few uh, pretty decent transformers to keep me going. To either, you know, to run my coils and stuff and for uh, basic uh, messing around. But I'm actually quite happy with this build, it's gone pretty well. I mean, what would make out, what would, you know, hit this thing off to make it look even better would be some nice bloody insulators. But I've only got the, the bloody one up there. Can you see that just there? And I could do with two of them. I think I'd actually have to uh, lop this off though. Just take that straight off. Because um, I don't think uh, an insulator would be, would be very close towards that bracket there. They actually have these on these because that's how they lift them up. Basically slide the bar straight through without the federals connected. I'm quite happy with that. Thought I'd share it with you. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think it's time for bed now. I think because uh, I've been there for the past probably three hours, three and a half hours, four hours, or something like that, to uh, building this thing and sorting it out. It's running quite well. Quite chuffed with it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves. I hope you're all well. Whatever you're doing, be safe and uh, speak again. Take care, guys.